Well, you are, you are unlucky humans. <laughs> you are unlucky humans because I have to speak English. <laughs> and uh, it was impossible for me because I have, you will see, I had to, to speak in the same time French and English. Because my generator creates text in real time and I have no possibility to put my generator in Google and to have translation in real time, so you will see. Uh, that is a quotation of one of my colleagues in Paris 8, Professor Hagen Drake, and uh, I found it very good for what I think we explain. My, my first purpose is that uh, when I have to, to intervene in some where, where the title of this language is, as a title of this conference, Language Internet, what I'm always puzzled because in French, language is not a concept. We have, in fact, two concepts. Some of you know, know that the first concept is langue, and the second concept is language, and they are very different. Also, lang languages of the North may not the difference between lang langue and language. For us, it is very important, and for my purpose, it is also very important. I know that there is also another word in English, it is tongue. And tongue is representative of that confusion, because I, I found only four expressions of tongue in English. It's an old word. You have one, two expressions, where it means langue, common langue, common tongue, or mother tongue. And there are two so where it does not mean langue. For instance, you have a chicken tongue. <laughs> it has a most tongue in cheek, sorry. <laughs> I see you, your word, tongue in cheek. It does not mean langue, it means uh, this. What we call also langue in French, but it is a, uh, part of a body. Mm -hmm. And the other one is an old one, in the, with, you find that in the Bible, Bible, to speak in tongue. But to speak in tongue is normally not to speak in language, because it invents a, a, a kind of language. So I have to explain that because it is very uh, important. So I will show you I think it will work now because I manage everything. My def uh, definition of that difference. I feel always stupid when I have to speak English because I'm not fluent. So <laughs> I have to, to, to mind and it's not so so. So when I have to speak about languages in English, in English I have to choose: well, will I speak of language, language, or will I speak of language? Uh, in that conference, I have cho chosen to speak of the two. I will speak of language, but I use the French name, and I will speak of language, and I will use the French name. That is why I will mix everything. So you know, you know what is, or you can see by the definitions that there is very different. Lang is something dependent only for a human community, and you cannot say la langue des fleurs, language of flower. It is impossible in French. Language is a stru structured system of nonverbal signs, and in that case, you can say. La, lang la langage des fleurs, in English, lang language of flower. That. And another important uh, layer for me is code, because I work on Lewis code. He is a conventional regular stru structure system. Because code is not a language, nor a language. It's a mathematical uh, use of symbols. Yeah. Even if uh, this, this mathematical uh, use employs words, you have not to be confused. A word in a code 
is not as a word in a, in a language, in a, lang in, in a language. Because <coughs> if you have just a little mistake, the computer will not understand. You have to be rigorous. So, for, I, I will show you, for instance, for me the three are very important in my work because I, I have created generator of text. So I have to manage with code, a part of my work is code, and another part is long, and another part is language. I will explain that. Uh, I will not explain you uh, the different layers of codes in a computer program. You know that the beginning is only 0 and 1, but we don't use 0 and 1, we use bytes, that means 8 and so on. I will not explain, and I'm not a specialist of uh, modern code. So I will you show you my generator. Uh, well, uh, maybe you will need it later, but now I will show you my generator. That is a part of my generator. And don't be confused, everything here is code. When, uh, may you read it from the end so I can... Okay, I, I, I will... Is better? Mm -hmm. Oh, that is better? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I have to come back because something I cannot access here to something. But for instance, you see here, Francais General. Yeah? That's a dictionary, a huge dictionary. But that dictionary is a code. I write it in French to be to understand what I do, but it is called. I will show you, for instance, I take one of them. Uh, and you see that the real names are different. It's like synonyms. Uh, so the, the first thing, terms, first word is, it is only code. I cannot use as a lang. I have to use it as a code. Okay, and for instance, I take another verb. Uh, I'm sorry, I cannot translate everything. For example, an adjective, yeah, and you see that impressionnant trois, which is a code, means in fact in French, impressionnant, considérable. Uh, uh, yeah, I have to go back. It's yeah, important. Okay. So, I have to, when I create text, when I ask to create a text, I have to choose everything to, to program what kind of word we want to use. And it, uh, that's the first layer, you use code only. For instance, Uh, I will show you not that part, that's a dictionary. I have a little dictionary into English, but it is mixed with everything because it is code. And it's, oh, maybe I can show you. Maybe I will find an English word if I remember well. Uh, no, it's not here. I will show you after uh, English generator, but in English I have so little dictionary <coughs> that I can do very many things. And I can generate even if I don't understand who, who, who speaks English. That I have a generator in French, uh, German, English, uh, Spanish uh, for the world. Because the structure in the rear it's the same for each of these languages. I have decided that it will be the same structure, even for grammar. That is surprising, but you will understand. Uh, if I say, that's the first step. Uh, 
Now I will ins uh, go inside uh, that first layer. That's this first la that first layer is based on code underneath. But I will show you the code of uh, mathematical code and so. But my first layer of code is this. This is the dictionary with different possibilities. The first layer is this one. <coughs> this one is how to create a text. For instance, I have a big program on the uh, internet whose name is Monde Incertain, with who uh, I put uh, video, blogs, and so on. It's, uh, I think it is my last book. It's a Monde Incertain. I think you know why Monde Incertain. We are inside it, so <laughs> maybe you understand. Uh, if I take this one, by example, for, for instance, oh, I will. Can you read it from the, at the, yeah, okay. You see that is the possibility of creating a sentence. That is the sentence. So you see it is only code. It has something like character, you don't know what it is. And I don't know what it will be. <laughs> I don't know if it is a code, but what will be, I don't know, because there is a huge shoes beside character. The second one is a verb, is a verb with a code which allows to generate the verb and so on. Everything is a code. I will show you one working. I think. And what is the result? Pierre, Perle, Perle is the name of the wo uh, woman, allait saisir l'homme sauvage sur le bord de la Saône. Il y a une faute, tiens, il m'a écrit Saône, it's a French river, but uh, in my dictionary there is a, a mistake somewhere, I will correct it. <laughs> Mais pren par, prenant sans raison apparente la forme d'un escalier, il se précipita dans le courant. But now, if I create another sentence with the même, the, 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 it's the same structure. I have changed nothing. But you see that the result in langue is very different. Mm -hmm. Lilian allait saisir l'hypocrite sur le fort du Fiumorbo. Du coup, il se passe en Italie, non plus. <laughs> Mais prenant soudainement la forme d'un meunier, elle se précipita dans le courant. <laughs> Et each time I will ask for one, I will have very different results. You see that the structure is the same, but the result is very different. That's a, a layer of code, that's a layer of lang. Okay? And the difference is very important, because I can't create text only at that level, and not at the end. Uh, Level and the uh, Oh, so I will not. Uh, okay, that's a result. But that's a result which is not of not use if you will, if you <coughs> think about that. Okay, it creates sentences. It creates very different sentences. But it is not a text. It is not a text. What is necessary to become a text? It becomes to use, to use another kind of structure. And I will show you the structure of a text. I hope so. Because sometimes... Uh, oh, okay, I will show you in another universe. It, it will be more clear. Uh, this universe is of poetry. And I can obtain a lot of poetry, very different. I will, I will show you, even in English, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm seeking, searching the most uh, interesting for you. That's, that's the text. Uh, OK. Oh, 
it's manipulation take time. <laughs> That's Oh, it disappeared. Mm. Okay. Where it is? Ah, it is in the other page. So you can see two of the text. I have to use a, a layer of, of informatical code, the first part. It is in the inform a computing language. I don't know what, what. I don't remember. And I have to use my informatic code. But it's strange because the text is always repeating. It's the same. You have only one sentence. Uh, Allez, arbre, 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 arbre. Okay. It, and it makes a lot of different text. Okay. I will show you what kind of text it creates. Uh, that rather poetry. It depends on what you consider as poetry. But <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Very important deba debate, but I will not have it here. Okay, I will generate this one. <coughs> it takes a little bit of time because du jacquet à l'arbre, de l'oranger au pêcher, du chêne à l'aune, de l'acacia, because why? Because I have a complete list of the name of the, the uh, arbre. Trees? We, we say the arbre in English? Trees! Yeah. And uh, it's a, a huge list. I have about uh, 20,000 uh, 20, names of arbre. And I will explain how we can have 20,000 of the names of arbre. And you see, it is a very different text. That's poetry, that's not a, a novel. But it makes an effect. It's a, the effect of somebody who is uh, completely lost and who was walking in a, in, in a forest or the, who don't know of, and he has to find something, but what? Okay. I will show you because I am. I'm a pleasant man. In English, what I can obtain into English. I hope I have it. This one. And we have to speak about language at that level. Uh, if I find it. Okay. I will let you dif explain the difference between concept and items because it is a part of my code. But, uh, here I will, I will test the concept. That means how to create a, a plant in English. Okay. Okay. And it creates the cosmos Newtonian, <laughs> which is a, a real, <laughs> really a, an English plant because Newton has, was a gardener, as you know. time I have to accelerate a little. <laughs> That's uh, and you have understand that each time I ask for a plant it will be another plant.
plant as the earth, the salt of the earth, Pedro Paramo said about Jeremy Fickenstein in 1970. Okay. If I you, you understood that if I asked for mother, it was different. And that problem was made for, I work with a lot of uh, artists, and uh, I have created many works with artists. And this one is uh, my generator for creation with Miguel Chevalier, who is a big, a great uh, French artist in multimedia. And we have made, uh, he has made, and I, now it is langage, he has made a, a big installation as a sculpture where you have a book. And when you turn the page, there are white pages. But when, when you turn the pages, in one side you see a plant, numerical digital plant which is created. And on the other side you have the description of my, that digital plant <coughs> with uh, my computer. And we have to do it in English because some boy want to to buy it, but it was a Canadian man and he wants an uh, English version. So I've, I've made a small generator in English, but my vocabulary is less rich than in French. But, okay. So you understand that now when I have to, until then, then I have speak essentially of code, you understood? of language, and now I have to speak of language. That means the difference between a text, which is long, and the use of a text, which is language. Language, and not language. It is diff very different, for instance, you know that all here, that to have a text on the screen, and you have to have a text on the page. Okay, The constraints of displaying are not the same. You are, even if it is a not moving text, you have other constraints. No, the format of the format of the screen, the size of the characters, you see I have always I am always changing size and so on. So language be, language begins when you leave lang <coughs> to be in the use of language. For instance, the sculpture with Michel Chevalier is, in, is a language. It is very different to use a, a book, empty book, and to obtain a text always changing. It is a part of language. So the, essentially the artistic part of multimedia is language. Many of the, the work I have seen here or before, is a use of language with text. You have to display to create a, a picture and so on. Okay, I will not uh, be, because I have only uh, huh, six, six minutes. Mm -hmm. so. Parce qu'on a, a commencé un peu, un peu Oui, Moi, je veux bien, je peux durer jusqu'à 11 heures. Oui, yeah, but, uh, we, we, we started a bit, bit late, so we can uh, afford a few minutes. You, uh, 10, 15 minutes max, so we have 10 minutes. Okay. 15 minutes, uh, well, I will try. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. <laughs> uh, because there is a pause after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no very well. But maybe there okay. will be discussion. So that was the first part of my, uh, of my presentation. And uh, I cannot show you, but... I invite you to go, for instance, in uh, to see how many different language <coughs> language I used to You could perhaps uh, show a little bit of it and take a minute or two. Nine. And I can show you just a little that. This one, for instance, is the part is the last creation of my Monde Incertain, but in video. Oh, there is no more sound. Oh. No. I think it's still plugged into the other computer, no? No, 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 no problem. No, 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 no. 
Is it sound I, like I can't like sing. Pit, 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 pit! Le bail s'est arrêté. Non, mais il est éteint ici. Ok, on va s'en passer de la vie. Il faut le rappeler. Bon, ça fait rien. C'est pas possible. Nous sommes ici pour half an hour pour tester ça. Oh no importance, we have no time. You will see by yourself, there are a lot of... Uh, is, there is about uh, five, uh, seven hundreds of video, and uh, I will make uh, enough, nine hundred. No, it doesn't work. It no, 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 and uh, okay. everything is made with my uh, video. Is it? Yeah, it is not uh, my video. But it's, uh, yeah. Powering on. <laughs> Powering on. Okay, so uh, if you could just give it a second because this one's. Un poète ne crée pas les images de sa poésie. Il les prend dans le sein de la nature et les applique à différentes choses pour les figurer au sens. All is made with uh, digital tools. Toutes les représentations so, sont so, par des rapprochements de deux images. Enfin, par un travail d'abstraction et de généralisation semblable à celui que le physicien opère sur les feuilles. Ok, that's enough. And you have here. And you have some in English, but I have, I have no time to show you. And. Uh, for instance, the last one I create for Zap, the Z, uh, Z, Z magazine, magazine is uh, in English, in German, in Spanish, and uh, you have to, to play with all that language. <laughs> that language, <lang, lang. laughs> and not language. And you have, uh, here you see that uh, I call uh, everything uh, a dead al a labyrinth, because I want that my reader was lost, completely lost. And I succeed. <laughs> Nobody wants to know where it is. <laughs> For instance, if I take this one, they are very different uh, purpose. And here, uh, Rachel will write a novel, endless novel, was uh, okay, which will disappear <laughs> when I click, and uh, another one is, is possible. So, for me, language is very important. Language is very important because each of my different creation is a question of language and not of language. You see, the layer of language is the same for everything, even for English, even for Spanish. But the language is very different. Okay. And why? I, I mean, it is time to, to uh, go to my second uh, uh, part of my uh, conference. Why do I? What w will I do that? Because the reader is really confused. Ah, oh, it's time. We can take another ten minutes, jump here. Five minutes. Ten. And uh, so the second part of my uh, work, I was a long time confused myself because I do, I want to do something, but I, I don't understand why. That's surprising, but many artists do that. <laughs> I, I want to create something, and I really know what I want to create, but why? And I was very interested by a concept of a, a friend of mine, which is uh, Olivier Aubert. Oh, that's not a good thing. Uh, Oh, zut. <laughs> zut is French. Uh. 
I, I don't permit me to speak uh, an f uh, English uh, exclamation that <laughs> because I'm polite. Uh, Okay, it will be uh, of no importance. <coughs> uh, last book of Olivier Aubert is an opticon. I hope he, uh, he, he, uh, he perceived the bad joke he made in French, but mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure. But amnotical is a very interesting concept because uh, Olivier Aubert explains that uh, in the story of mankind, there are much very important change of way of seeing things, of understanding things. And the day, he, for him, one important, I, I agree with him, with him is uh, the change of perspective at La Renaissance. Because before the world was symbolic and uh, everything is created in a symbolical plan and not uh, in a perspective plan. That is, the human is not here. It is only uh, something as a, a place for gods uh, and all so on. When you introduce the perspective's point of view, you use to have an uh, end. You, you have a point where Toward you are going, like, uh, for instance, because for me it's uh, at the same time about uh, ten years difference. It appears the printing Ab about the same time. I think it's not uh, uh, by, by chance. It is a change of point of view for the humanity. And for a book, it is the printing is the invention of the end because you have to end the book. And not when you make oral presentation. For instance, uh, uh, Erika said I was, uh, I was many times in Uzbekistan and Afghanistan, and, and I hear many times, he, as we say, that counter, counter. the man we are counting. Huh? Storyteller? No, no, uh, man who is uh, telling stories Yes, yes. Yeah. And I, I see that for the counter, there is no end of the story. They are always changing the things, and when the public was applauding, it is because he changed something. Because <coughs> everybody knows the story. It is not necessary to explain them the story. But what is important is how the counter will change the story. And there is no reason to have an end. For instance, a good example of that, but it was transposed in the book, it's <coughs> Les Mille et Une Nuit, Thousand and One Night. Mm -hmm. It may it, it may be uh, two thousand nights. It needs an end, but not not really. And when you change that perspective, you change also the perception when with printing you change the perception of stories. You have to end. At the moment, you have to end. And what interests me it was, is to have no end. And I think that there were other changes of perspective that uh, Olivier Aubert did not. Uh, he did not speak about that, but it will, he will be. He will agree. Uh, for instance, the Cubist point of view. It's a complete change of perspective. And the cubist point of view uh, was also at the same time with many uh, essays on literature, Dadaism, Surrealism, etc. It, it's the main, the same change about the end or something like that. It is not interesting to have, uh, uh, create something else. And uh, so, what I want to create, it's uh, an optical. I, 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 I have to invent a, a term, an optical, an optically, uh, view of literature. That means that when you read a page, you may have many pages in it. So if you, you try to read my uh, novel, Le Monde des Certains, in uh, 
on my website, you will see that there are a lot of links. So one text, we can't go to another one. And when you come back, it is not the same. But you have some uh, characters who are the same. And you can have built a story in your head. But it is not a story built by an author. It's a story that you build yourself. And my dream, so I will stop, uh, stop here, is to have a real <coughs> analytical <coughs> creation. For the while, it is impossible. Because I don't, I say you, I'm not, uh, it's not possible to connect directly the Google Trad to my generator. Or if I can, you may have in the same time uh, English and the French and the Spanish uh, creation. It will be possible. And to have in the same time as in Google, automatic voices saying your text, but maybe a German, uh, I've, men, I've made, made a video about that. A German man reading the French text. And so it's strange because you understand. You can't com understand it. You, you lost something, <coughs> but you can understand. So my dream is to have that completely automatic. I will not have to, uh, to intervene. And uh, one thing, so my last thing is that I, I've not seen you how I, how I create my dictionary and my database. I have uh, actually a huge database of about uh, two millions of uh, uh, generative structure. I don't write them by hand, it's impossible. I, I'm a, a, a great, uh, how to say that? Comment on dit en, en anglais, tricheur? A cheater. I'm a great cheater because <coughs> I take all my database from internet. For instance, when I said you, I, had about, uh, I have about 20,000 uh, name of arbre of trees, it is because I take the database of arbre of trees on the internet. I have wanted to take them. I give it to uh, one of my programs who transform the, 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 the words in code. It's the same for the sentence. It, it, uh, it takes a sentence and it transforms it in structure. And after that, it works. So I can have a lot of, uh, well, for the while, uh, I cannot have more than 2,000, uh, two, two billion, two million of uh, data because my, comp my, my pro actual program is a little uh, uh, old. And uh, some of my uh, assistant are trying to modernize it and to have uh, more. It, it says me that we will, it will be possible to have 100 million of, of database. Okay. But I, c I cannot create 100, you know. So that's a world. I, I, I dream to have a world where all that will be automatic, automatic as if the computer creates a world by itself, a, a, a world of text by itself. And that is completely anoptical. You have no perspective. You have multi perspective, change of perspective. Every time you change of perspective, Alors maybe it's not interesting for a human being <laughs> who is limited, but uh, for me it's my dream. Thank you. Thank you, Jean-Pierre, for the very <coughs> talk. And I think it uh, connects back to the, well, obviously, quite obviously, we're talking about langu language and the long language, and I think are quite some synergies and responses uh, that we can, uh, links that we can make to yesterday's talks. Any questions, comments? I would make the comment that I think, and, and uh, I'm not sure it came up yesterday, that in fact the distinction that you explained between long and, and langage in a way answers to to some of the discussion we had uh, between John and, and Richard yesterday and, and some other people as to what is uh, language. Because if you do make the distinction between long and langage, it does become a little bit um, uh, where easier to explain why what you say is not language uh, can be uh, long ash but not long even term for, uh, possibly don't you think John would you w would you have any um, 
link uh, that you can make to Jean Pierre's uh, approach here? Uh, uh, well, I don't. I, I, uh, I would ask about that as well. I would have asked the question because I understand that long as for so sure yeah. is the system. Each time some, somebody say me uh, sorcerer, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, but sorcerer, for some, the, the distinction for sorcerer between lang and parole is not operating here. No. Because parole is a part of lang with a part of language. Yes. Yeah. And he has not, he has not made the clear distinction be, between lang and language. Yeah, but, so the one I don't fully understand is langage. Mm -hmm. Because language long, also language is language is uh, is more abstract. Or is it's more abstract, yes. It's more abstract. Yes, so it is a it is part of, uh, for instance, temporality, uh, screen, uh, colors, music, and so on. Right. It is what is added to a text to lang to be a a, a, a creative a creative form. But that's. But there's a little bit of a contradiction because if it's more abstract, but it's real, but it's realized in. The world. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> yeah. But we are. We need something not really abstract in the world. We yes. need context. I, Erika said that uh, I, I was refer referring to a part of your conference, but it was in many of the conferences yesterday. Yeah. In uh, in, in the real in the. There was a t discussion about lang and language, but not c very clearly. Yes, because language is in context. Yeah, I, 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 am, I think I understand, but I, but I think it makes a new problem. Because, because if you say language is the one that is for any type of systematic communication mm -hmm. in any physical or substantive realization. That that makes sense. But it's, it's also but when you use it in relation to language itself, so that langage also refers to an actual existing piece of language. Mm -hmm. That makes it incredibly com uh, makes it when you're speaking in the realm of language makes it very concrete. Whereas you're using it for that and you're also using it for Yeah. So, so it's, it's, I mean, I, I like it. It is I, because I, it, I we are in a world of, of context. Yeah. When we are speaking of la, la, langage des fleurs, mm -hmm. you see that, uh, in fact, you, you, what you do, do to the flowers, some soft meaning, some meaning they don't have. Mm -hmm. When you see, I don't know the langage des fleurs in English, but When you s said in France that uh, <coughs> coquelicot means uh, coquelicot, uh, uh, ah. the red flowers uh, <laughs> was uh, used here for the military dead. Poppy. 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 That yeah. co coquelicot means uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, fidelity. You add to the coquelicot was not meaning of fidelity. Who is not fidelity? You ask, you are, add to it something, mm -hmm. and that's a part of language. And you can use it, for instance, when you create a, a bouquet. When you create a bouquet, <laughs> you you have you can create a language, a language, because when you when you are in love, you don't offer to your lover. In a, in, a kind, many, in a kind of bouquet, you have to choose what you want to express. Rose is more passionate than uh, Marguerite. The rose, red rose is most, more passionate than the, a little bl white flower. Okay? So you, you use that language, and that is a language, not a language, because it is not really structured as a human language. Yes. Really? Human language. <laughs> it's difficult, difficult to speak about that into English because there is only one word. Yeah, well, that's the problem. And uh, even for me, it's difficult. You see, uh, sometimes I, I said long, sometimes language. I did not have to say language. I will have to say long and language. Mm -hmm.
Any other questions, comments? Okay, thank you. Hi, <laughs> 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 yes. so, um, <laughs> so this sort of, um, I, I really enjoyed the turning point in your presentation where you're like, the, so the, the printing press was related to this sort of idea of um, perspective and, and end point and the printing press was the invention of the end um, in terms of literature, I guess. Um, does that mean that like the text <coughs> generator, and you were talking in the context of your one, but I guess it's like all text generators really, isn't it? The from the original sort of um, like love letter generator by uh, Strachey and sort of this the birth of compu computing is really like tied up with text generators, isn't it? Does that mean that that's a return to a time prior to the printing press? So yeah. like I've seen like people like Dean Grigar argue that like electronic literature returns to like a sort of almost like Greek classical oral tradition, or is it a new era that's like after that and substantively different to the oral one? Such a new era that will uh, use at the same time the quality of orality, for instance, mm -hmm. and the possibilities of text mm -hmm. of printing. And it is a new era where you have to invent your perspective. It is what it is. It is a reason why it is very difficult to understand my moment and certain. Because it is not our perspective, perspective for the world. We are not uh, in habituated to, to change perspective inside, inside the page. In another term, you are not habituated to see that uh, in the same place there may be uh, part of a novel and the allusion of another novel and the allusion of third novel and so on. It's very difficult because for understand that you have to change and you have to create a new text. And your memory is not uh, so powerful to, to, to have that at the same time. But our life feel like that. It is why I, I made the I, 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 I displayed the quotation of Aldo Zaid. It's like you are now, you are now. You have the screen, different screen before of you. I see when the, during the conference, some some of us were creating their own text, hearing the conference, creating a text, or uh, sending SMS. I have seen that. It, it, you have to be in the back of the people, and you see that. <laughs> but it will not s signify that we don't hear. We can be multi-task. Think of um, and uh, for instance, I term in, and we are Sorry. now in a world of screens. We are screens everywhere, mm. and they di they display different messages. They are not the same message, for instance, at the airport, they have a lot of screen with different messages, with uh, news, with information of the report, for, with publicity, and you are living inside of that. Okay? Sorry. No, no, no I'm sorry. For t um, I was just trying to think about, like, the sort of, like, if that condition of the text is actually that unique, and, like, if there's things that have anticipated it, and one two that I think of that are like a bit sort of like this idea of every time you return to the text it's different is sort of anticipated with newspapers right because every morning when I go to get the milk I'll look at the newspaper on the news agent's shelf mm -hmm. and it's like a different headline but I'm returning to the same site yeah. and that's print and so that's always been the case it's the same context and it's yeah. the same world so you are you are prepared on yeah. the same world it's the same, if you read, it's not a publicity, but if you try to read a monde uncertain, you will see that there is a word of a monde uncertain. And you, have not, you are not lost completely, because we are in the same world. But it is, uh, you, your example of a newspaper is very good, because in the same pa page we have information from everywhere. You have publicity too, you have uh, uh, you know, uh, advertisement. Too, and uh, we are in that world, and we have not, we are not taken conscience of that enough. 
the young people are different. They begin to have conscience of that because they are always playing with different rhythms. Okay? And I was also interested by the presentation of video, for instance, uh, yesterday uh, evening, mm -hmm. because there, there is no reason that that kind of video has an end. <coughs> for instance, the, 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 wor the works, if you have seen, of uh, Nicolas Ver Vermelin, it may uh, be uh, two hours. Two hours, no importance. There is not necessary to have an end. The, the work of Bonnard, it's not necessary to have an end. It, there is an end only for practical reasons, but not for meaning reasons. So we are in that world. Very different. For instance, I'm, I'm also uh, very angry when I come to my uh, French family in the south of France. Why? Because the TV is always on. All day long it is on. They are not listening at the TV, but it is part of the, the universe. You discuss with my uh, brother, and the TV is on. I ha have to ask him, uh, could you not uh, and, uh, and put off the TV because uh, it's more pleasant to discuss? Mm? They live in that world. And uh, it's not a linear world now. It's a multimedia world and multi-perspective world. Multimedia we know. Multi-perspective we just begin to understand. And that's why I like I like very much the concept of uh, Olivier Huppert. Yeah. Uh, pas moi qui décide, uh, was first and then Ali will take the last question. Okay. There's, no, there's just a comment. José Donoso said that uh, uh, hell is a place without limits. Yeah. And maybe... Uh, Even... <laughs> Even... <laughs> the idea of the angels. Even... 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 Maybe uh, it's why. <laughs> We are going, where, where are we going to even to where? That's a good question. It is why my world is in uncertain. Mm -hmm. My remark is more or less in the same vein because I was wondering if it's still there to read. What you are doing is reading still important for it. But in your work, Reading uh, Struck, I don't remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> it's, really it's the same. Your world is called always changing and you don't have no real perspective. It is just what happened at the moment. Mm -hmm. yes. And reading has the same meaning. You don't read as, uh, as you read a book, a book. You don't read it as uh, if you are reading uh, Les Trois Mousquetaires <laughs> or uh, uh, Roderick. Ransom. <laughs> Just a question. Random was an old term in uh, in English. Yes. I mean, so uh, maybe Roderick random. It's uh, it's well, means uh, also aleatory. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, I yeah. think so because uh, reading of that book it, it is interesting is that perspective. Yeah, yeah. It changes of. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. Mm. No, you are a perfect example of that. I don't think so because mine has a different perspective. For me, it's important that there are real people mm -hmm. engaging in something that's <coughs> relevant. That what is the process between these these people in the writing is important yeah. for me, but not so much the result. So but so because it's that is your language. Yes. My language is not the same, but the, the use of the text is the same. Mm. Okay, but you yes. have your language. For example, you need you want to dance with your reading clubs. I, I, I can do something like that, but that, that has no meaning with my work. Okay? So, many of the things I have seen here, or elsewhere, are in that uh, form of uh, thinking, but too few people are uh, aware of that. And it's what I think the, the book of Olivier Aubert is for me important. But Olivier Aubert is a man who wants to, he has some defaults. He, he wants, he, he thinks that he has find a solution that will mm. change the world. I'm not sure of that, but mm. maybe. Yeah. Um, yes, 
is it okay? Is it okay to ask yeah, yeah, I'll ask your mom yeah, for a question. I, I, the, the, my question is, but what if for long, that long, yeah. you need, I mean, I, in my understanding, you need spacing. So you need, you need, you need, you need to be, you need to read. You have to be able to distinguish the beginning and the end of something that you can read. Like you have seen when I show you uh, uh, the, the level of I call sentence, but that's not a sentence. With this yeah. code of sentence, it's a sentence. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there is a beginning of an end. That's a, con a, f a strong constraint of lang. Yes. The lang has a grammar. The language, the way you're talking, and the way we've been talking, language is can be just a, it, a language could be made of long. Yeah, uh, language is and not. Language could go on forever. But for it's long, you've got to have, it's got to be chopped up into bits. Yeah, if you, if you want only to, to display a generated text along, you want only to display it. The language is, is very summary, summary, very light. Yeah. Because it is only to respect some rules as, uh, Displaying in a, in, a, uh, in a surface and so on. But most of the people of uh, multimedia, we are here for to speak of multimedia poetry and so on. Most, all the people of uh, e poetry and so on change that. Mm -hmm. They want generally not to be limited in a square page. Mm -hmm. They want to create something. It is wise for them. Language is very important. And if each of you has created his language, your language for displaying this thing is very personal. Mm -hmm. I like it, I never succeed to make yours. Mm -hmm. And be, be, except for example, your game, you play with uh, Chinese characters and uh, it's very specific. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, your language. Mm -hmm. But the, the language is the same for everything here. You use an English lang. Yeah. English lang. <laughs> okay, it's a pidgin English, but uh, <laughs> okay. I cannot say that uh, otherwise. I think that's also nice, Lester. I cannot say that otherwise. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Jean-Pierre, and uh, we all have a coffee. <laughs>